paper is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Carmen San Diego. This is Dave Quick. He collects programs from Broadway plays, and he's learning to speak French. This is Kylie Fresco, an artist. She once toured a submarine in Baltimore. This is Benjamin Davis, a member of the Marching 100 Drum and Bugle Corps. He had fun when he visited Boston. And this is Nimoy, that antisocial alien from Carmen San Diego's band of baddies. Nimoy. Her last known whereabouts? Australia. Before the arrival of Europeans, Australia's Aborigines lived in small communal groups which hunted and gathered food. As they traveled from place to place, tribal elders used songs of myth and history as their oral maps. The song lines, called Karabari, are still sung by some present-day Aborigines. Or they were until today, when Nimoy absconded with the songs. She thinks they'd make great disco hits on her home planet, Roddenberry. Gumshoes, you've got to nail Nimoy, catch Carmen, and put an end to... The Outback Soundtrack Hijack! And here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, Dave. How are you? Is it Kylie? Good to see you. Hi, Benjamin. Nice to see you guys. Listen, I just want to remind you guys that if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that isn't bad. So, to help you out with this, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And you guys know how this game is played, so let's get started with our very first clue. Let's check in on Melrose Place. Hi there, gumshoes. Vanessa here from Acme Lots of Useless Gadgets Net. Nimoy is in Sana'a, a city in a nation south of Saudi Arabia. Now, most residents there live a conservative Islamic lifestyle. No liquor, and they pray about five times a day. I mean, the whole deal. Last I heard, Nimoy was singing the song lines on the city gate. Now, if you guys don't catch her, the folks here might just chase her into the Red Sea. I gotta go now. The chief needs this crime calculator fixed by noon. All right, thanks a lot, Vanessa. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Yemen, <laughs> Afghanistan, or Turkey? And the clues that we heard, south of Saudi Arabia, Red Sea, and city of Sana'a. Everybody's ready. Dave, what do you think? I chose Yemen. Yemen. What do you think, Kylie? I also chose Yemen. Yemen. What do you think, Benjamin? I, I chose <laughs> Afghanistan. Afghanistan. The answer we're looking for is Yemen. Nice job, Dave and Kylie. As you know, we're going to give you 10 crime bucks every time you give us a, uh, an answer correct. So that means Dave, you have 60. Kylie has 60. Benjamin, 50 crime bucks. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we Greg, turn... just got a delivery from Acme Next Minute Air. Oh. Could be just the clue we're looking for. Oh. Sand. Sand. Sandinavia? San Juan. It's... No? Well, Greg, hmm. this looks like sand from the Karakum, a desert that covers over 115,000 miles in a country in West Central Asia. Right. It's just north of Iran. The Soviet Union controlled the place till 1991, but now it's independent. Hmm? That's the one. You know, it's a good clue, but what am I going to do with all this sand? I don't know, Chief. Maybe save it for a sandwich? Sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I'm sorry. They made me do it. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Georgia, Slovenia, or Turkmenistan? Remember the clues that we heard? Covered by the Karakum, just north of Iran, an independent former Soviet republic in West Central Asia. Everybody's ready. Dave, what do you think? I chose Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. Kylie? I also chose Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. Benjamin? I also chose Turkmenistan. Well, it's a good thing you all chose it, because you're all right. Nice job, guys. <laughs> our 
Okay, so Dave, you're up to 70. Kylie's up to 70. Benjamin, 60 crying bucks. Nice job. That's the way to do it. For our next clue, we turn... It's a video music clue. Oh, Greg. Great. I love these. Video music clue. It's a lot easier than schlepping everything down to the uh, video store. I'll just pop this in. Turn it on. Oh, wait a minute. I know this choir. They won a Grammy Award in 1990. I'll bet Nemo's in the country where they live on the Black Sea. Boy, these harmonies are great, huh? They blend folk styles from all over their country. They've been to the state radio and television female, female vocal choir since 1952. But only recently, they've become international stars. They sell out shows all over the world. And you can probably find their records in your local mall. But I gotta tell you, I like them long before anybody else. Okay, guys, you ready? Name the country, if you will, please. Is it Croatia, Poland, or Bulgaria. Remember the clues that we heard. 1990 Grammy Award winner on the Black Sea and state radio and television female vocal choir. Dave is ready. Kylie's ready. So is Benjamin. Dave, what do you think? Well, Greg, I said Bulgaria. Well, all right then. Bulgaria. Kylie, what do you think? I said Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Benjamin? I said Croatia. Croatia. The answer we're looking for is Bulgaria. Nice job, David. Kylie. Okay, so Dave, you have 80. Kylie has 80. Benjamin's still in there with 60 crime bucks. Now, for the next clue, we turn... Okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round. These questions are all about Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Bulgaria. Each one's worth five crime bucks. Hands in your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Bulgaria produces lots of a particular ingredient in perfume. Is it A, fragrant mud, B, fragrant petroleum, or C, rose oil? Dave. Is it rose oil? Rose oil is right. Nice job, Dave. <laughs> Let me, uh, let's take a look at this here. Can you see this okay? Okay, now as you know, the Bulgarian language is written in Cyrillic alphabet, okay? Uh, so tell me this. Which of these words is in Bulgarian? Is it A, B, or C? Kylie. A. Sorry, it's not A. Dave. C. Sorry, it's not C. Benjamin. B. Wonderfully done, Benjamin. <laughs> He waited him back. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a, a is uh, Finnish and C is Arabic. Okay, nice job, guys. Benjamin takes up to 65 crime books. For our third question, listen carefully. There are three colored stripes on the Bulgarian flag. The white stripe stands for freedom. The green stripe stands for forests. What does the red stripe stand for? Is it A, love, B, communism, or C, bravery? Dave. B, communism. Sorry, it's not communism. Kylie? C, <laughs> that's correct. Nice job. You got yourself five on that. Okay, that means that's the end of the lightning round. Dave, you have 85. Kylie has 85. Benjamin, 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's Greg, something extremely important has come up. Could you come in here for a moment, please? Well, most definitely. I mean, if it's extremely important, I'll be right there. You guys understand. Pardon me. Got you. Pick a number. Oh, I love these things. What, you, what do they call again? It's an Acme fortune teller poldy thing. Now, come on, Greg. Yeah. Pick a number. Uh, two. Okay. Pick a color. Uh, chartreuse. Yeah. Okay, red. R E D. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. You will tell the gumshoes at home about the contest. Well. That's a pretty specific uh, fortune you have there, Greg. Yeah, okay, absolutely. I mean, I can't imagine that it's ever going to come true. Whoa! Well, whenever you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard and send them to Acme Crime Net, Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Hey, why did I do that? Well, the power of the foldy thing is mysterious and strong. Yeah, I guess. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send each of them a Carmen T-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. Okay, Chief, now it's your turn. Pick, pick a number. Uh, two. Two. One, two. Uh, pick a lunch meat. Lunch meat. Uh, olive loaf. Olive loaf. O-L-I-V-E-L-O-A-F. Okay, here it is right here. It says that you... And your partner will uh, dance the polka, and then you'll turn and yell chocolate waffles, chocolate waffles to each other, and then he will uh, immediately leave the office. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever... Whoa! Chocolate waffles!
Is it silly in here today, or is it just me? Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Nimoy and the song lines. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. Nimoy, what's that racket? I gave the song lines a rotten berry beat. Well, turn it down and head for a Midwest capital. It's the hometown of Abraham Lincoln. The only house Lincoln ever owned is there. He bought it for $1,500. Now it's a National Historic Site. Carmen, you're so helpful. Thank you. That's thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Springfield, <laughs> Omaha, or Lincoln City? Remember the clues that we heard? Midwest Capital, hometown of Abraham Lincoln, and Lincoln's home a National Historic Site. Dave is ready, so is Kylie. Benjamin is now ready. Dave, what do you think? Well, Greg, I chose Springfield. Springfield, Kylie. I also chose Springfield. Springfield, Benjamin. I chose Omaha. Omaha, the answer we're looking for is Springfield. Nice job, Dave and Kylie. Okay, so now we stand this way. Dave has 95, Kylie also 95, Benjamin 65, Crime Bucks. I don't know about Rose. There's murmuring out here in the alley. Let me just, just, just check on that. Hey, guys. What's the word on the street? We ain't coming out. Hey, Greg. Actually, the word on the table is wachinango. That's a tasty dish made out of red snapper, tomatoes, and onions. It's a big favorite in the city where Nimoy's hiding, Mexico's biggest port on the Gulf of Mexico. U.S. tourists usually head for other Mexican resorts, but this city is a big spot for Mexican vacationers. But one thing's for sure. You can't beat the seafood. Sit down and have some, Greggy. Oh, listen, guys, really, I would love to, but I got work to do. Oh. Could you give me a doggy bag? I meant... Never mind. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Oaxaca? Veracruz, Guadalajara. Remember the clues that we heard? Mexico's biggest port on Gulf of Mexico, and many Mexicans vacation there. Okay, everybody's ready. Dave, what do you think? I chose Veracruz. Veracruz. Kylie. I also chose Veracruz. Veracruz. Benjamin. I also chose Veracruz. Veracruz. The answer we're looking for is Veracruz. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Okay, so that means, Dave, you're up to 105. Kylie has 105. Benjamin in there now with 75 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, we have just received word that uh, Nimoy has left Veracruz. So let's pick up. <laughs> and still, my favorite part of the show. All these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Nimoy split to the capital of Mexico. Name the city. Dave. Mexico city. That's right. Next, she flew east to the state of... Campeche. What bay did she cross? Benjamin. Bethany. Uh, sorry, it's Campeche. Then Nimoy sneaked across Campeche, southwest border, into the next Mexican state. Name it. Dave. Sonora. Sorry, it's Tabasco. From Tabasco, she hot-footed it south to the Gulf of... Yes, Dave. Atlantic. I'm sorry, it's Pacific. Nimoy scooted the songs to the biggest city in the state of Guerrero. Name it. Dave Acapulco. is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of the chase round, Dave has 115, Kylie 105, Benjamin 75. Nice job. <laughs> okay, now we come to one of the most important parts of the case. It is time for the final clue of this round, which means you guys have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk... 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme crime bucks. Okay, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you guys think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, I want to make sure. Has everybody got them? Dave is now ready. Kylie's ready. And Benjamin, too. You just sit down right there. Okay, you've got it. Very good. We're ready. For the final clue of this round, we go to Acme Oink Nets' very own Sydney Green Pig. Sydney. Ah, greetings, Gregory. Regards to the gumshoes. <laughs> I've rooted out Nimoy in the capital of Colombia. 
the city's name comes from a Native American word meaning beyond the farmlands. Quite a lovely city. <laughs> the streets that run north to south are called Carreras, and the ones from east to west are Calles. Well, I'm off to do some tidying up. <laughs> My pigsty is a pigsty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, name the city if you will, please. Is it Medellin? Cali or Bogota? Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of Colombia. Name is Native American for beyond the farmlands. Streets, Carreras and Calles. Okay, everybody's ready. Benjamin, you have 75 crime bucks. We're going to start with you. First off, before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? Well, Greg, I wish 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks takes you up to 95 of your right. What'd you say? Well, I said Bogota. Bogota is right, Benjamin. Nice job, buddy. Good job. Takes up to 95. Kylie, you're in second place right now with 105. Well, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks takes you up to 135. If you're right, what'd you say? I also said Bogota. Nice job, Kylie. <laughs> Dave's looking pretty confident over there. You got 115 now. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. If you're right, you go up to 125. What'd you say? I said Bogota. Is right. Nice job. That means Dave and Kylie, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Benjamin, listen, man, you played a great game. You did a great case today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief, I've been turning this place upside down trying to find that alien. And for all the help you've given us, we're giving you this upside down Acme travel kit. You get an atlas. Now, if it's hard to read, just stand on your head. The official Carmen walk, a Carmen t shirt. And a subscription to National Geographic World magazine. But here's the good part about being upside down. You just take this world ball and congratulations. Okay, guys, now what we have to do is go to Bogota to try to find Nimoy and the song lines. You guys all ready to go? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost ready. If you'll take my hat, please, Kyle, if you'll get the door. Ah. I need to stop. Greg, yeah. I've got some information for us. Yeah. Time for us to get a move on. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's go. Just have this door here. Uh, take a right there. I want to pick up my toenail clippers. Chief, can you hand me a glass of soda? Keep your hands on the wheel, Greg. All right, at last. Here we are in Bogota. You guys take your positions right over here. The chief has some very important information she wants you to hear, so uh, listen very carefully, please. There are 15 places in Bogota where you might find Nimoy, the Warrant, or the Song Lines. Let's look at a few of them. First, the Museo del Oro, or Gold Museum, home to gold and emerald treasures. They're just breathtaking. And if Nimoy stops here, a lot more than breath will get taken. Then there's the Bogota Cathedral. The faithful have been singing hymns for centuries here, and none of their tunes are aboriginal, so listen carefully for stolen sounds. Next, be sure to debrief these agents from Acme Girl and Boy Scout Net. They may have some alien insights. Well, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now barrel through Bogota and sack that song stealer. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, just as a reminder, uh, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. You do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch Carmen San Diego, you get that trip to anywhere in North America, okay? Kylie, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Presidential Palace. Presidential Palace. Okay, nothing there, but we turn it back around. Dave, your turn. The Septima. Uh, it's the busiest street in Bogota. Nothing there. Kylie. Park Towers. Park Towers. Nope, sorry. Dave. The National Library. The National Library. Shh. Nope, nothing there. Kylie. The Museum of Modern Art. The Museum of Modern Art. No, nothing there. Dave. Plaza Bolivar. Uh, yeah, it's the hub of Bogota, Plaza Bolivar. Plunder down under. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Dave. The Bull Ring. The Bull Ring. Whoa! You got the loot, you got the warrant, you get a free turn, you're going even in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Find the crook and you can do it. Go ahead, Dave. Church of San Francisco? 
Church of San Francisco. Is Nimoy there? No. Not there. Okay, we turned these back around. Nice job, though. You found two of them. Kylie, your turn. Plaza Bolivar. Plaza Bolivar. Looney Lullabites. <laughs> Go ahead, Kylie. What's that? Bull ring. Bull ring. The water. You also now have the loot, the wart, and need one more. Where's Nimoy? Unicentro Shopping Center. Unicentro Shopping Center. Attention, Unicentro Shoppers. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn them back around, Dave. Plaza Boulevard. Plaza Boulevard. Outbridge in the Outback. Nice job, Dave. Bull ring. Bull ring. The warrant. Go ahead, Dave. Where's Nimoy? And the soccer stadium. And this, strangely enough, is where they play soccer. Just a little tidbit for you. Okay, uh, let's see it. No Nimoy. Sorry, we're turning these back around. Kylie, your turn. Plaza Bolivar. Plaza Bolivar. Tiny kangaroo down sport. I love the singing ones. Go ahead, Kylie. Bullring. Every Saturday and Sunday, you can see it. Go ahead. Bullring. The warrant. The loot. The warrant. Still looking for Nimoy. Go ahead, Kylie. Gold Museum. The Gold Museum. Is Nimoy there? Nimoy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pal. Nice job. Boy, I wasn't sure if we were going to catch him or not, but you did it, so nice job. Here's the chain. You know what to do. Pull on it. Me, boy. Okay, nice job. Listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit, but first off, Dave, listen, man, you were a great detective. You tracked me all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief, I've been watching you carefully. Now, luck didn't run your way on this case. But I can tell you've got real potential. That's why I want you to work with our Acme Travel Kit and to check out the international airwaves with this World Band Radio. Please take it with our sincere thanks and congratulations for a job well done. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Kylie, as you know, here we have our official non-fluorescent portfolio, and inside of it we have a pen and a piece of paper. What you need to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Do it. <laughs> you planned it? Did you talk to anybody about it? Just wanted to kind of figure out what you wanted to do, or is this your own idea? talked about it. Oh, you did? You and your parents? Mm -hmm. So they kind of had some input on this, too? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, listen, what we have to do now is find where Carmen San Diego is. The way we do that is answer the telephone every day, three years. Hello? Yeah, she's here. Hello? Oh, another planet, another prison cell. Maybe I could spend my sentence getting to know Carmen better. Look for her in Europe. What'd she say, Kylie? We're going to Europe. Okay, Kylie, you and I are going to Europe. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Spain, Andorra, France, England, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Austria, San Marino, Poland, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Turkey. Greg, let's go to the map. <laughs> Okay, nothing to it. You know what you're doing here, right? Yeah. I will explain it for those who may not know. What you have to do now is identify eight countries in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. If by chance you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear that sound twice. Leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you're right eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. You guys ready? All right, let's do it, Kyle. Come on back here. We'll get 45 seconds up on the clock. All your buddies are here to cheer you on. Good luck to you. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come on, we went to Amsterdam, the Netherlands. 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 No, try it again. Try it again. Netherlands. No, come on back. Come on back. Minsk, Belarus. 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 Yes, come on. Paris, France. Paris, France. Do it, buddy. Yeah. San Marino. San Marino. You know it now. You know it. No, try it again. San Marino. No, come on back. Come on back. St. Petersburg, Russia. Russia. Yes. Oh, that's in Ukraine. 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 Do it, buddy. Do it, buddy. Do it, buddy. Yes, come on. Birmingham, England. England. Pour it on now. Pour it on. Yes. Austria. Austria. Do it. Do it. No, try it again. Was this one wrong or right? This one here. It was not right. You got five and 45 seconds. That isn't bad. Give her a big round of applause, you guys. 
That was a very tough map. I mean, this is one of our harder ones. You got five and 45 seconds. That isn't bad. But remember, buddy, you caught uh, the crook. That's what we wanted you to do. Chief, what do you say? I know how elusive Carmen San Diego can be, but you did track down that robin Baron robber, Nimoy. And in appreciation of this deed, I'm giving you this portable CD player and a library of music from around the world, plus this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. So, take a deep breath. Be proud. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Yeah, deep breath. Yeah, you're very good. I, listen, you had a great time today. We had a great time having you here. You've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger built up from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a lone boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul and sorcery. Because I'm the chief. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. The program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.